Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the rock full of brains, a bunch of asteroids out in the middle of nowhere. Literally, no, like, look at this, there's nothing going on out there, but these three asteroids here are the ones that I am living on right now. Let's oversee that planetoid. One has a bunch of lava over the top of it, one is full of metals and swampy gases, and this guy, this guy over here, is starting to run out of power. You can see that over here, we were producing a whole a bunch of petroleum but as you can see from this line here we are starting to run a little bit short this should be full of yellow blobs and oh it's not the main problem that we've got is we are not making enough of the black liquids over here we need to make more of those and to do that we need access to oil wells and you can see there's a little mound that we put this oil well on top of and indeed we've got a mound here another mound down below and i believe there's a third one somewhere else that i can't quite lay my eyes on right now and also a volcano so we're going to use these three things there's there's the third i couldn't see it but there it is uh we're going to use these three things four things here to make ourselves a beautiful petroleum boiler my main aim at the moment is to try and get all of the oil that comes out of these four these three wells down to this corner over here we're then going to pass it back and forth and drop it into another hole on this side where we'll be pouring magma to warm up the 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 black crude oil to petroleum uh, temperatures because if we uh, have a look at this crude oil over here it will return into petroleum at 400 degrees c and you know what lava is much hotter than 400 degrees c so we'll need to build a little regulation system and then we can pass the hot petroleum back over the cold crude oil cool that petroleum down because we're going to have it so hot that we can't actually pick it up with pumps so we've got to cool it down with the liquids that we have available to us but to be able to do all that we need to empty this area we need to make it a vacuum we also need to deal with the other problems that are happening everywhere else <sighs> hey guys how are you doing <laughs> So looking at the materials that we have available to us, the oil well over here, we can make them all out of steel. We can put one over there, one over there, and one over here. We need to figure out how we're going to get water into these systems, because of course this area is going to be quite warm, or at least it would be if we weren't vacuuming everything out. How to get all of the, the, uh, the, the, the gases out is going to be a bit of a problem. We've got ourselves a liquid lock here. As you can see, there's carbon dioxide one side, then we've got liquid vacuum liquid and that is stopping these two carbon dioxide merging which is uh, very nice oh curie is on her way to come and do some digging we really need to try and figure out how we can get curie with an atmospheric dock suit uh, atmospheric suit in here uh let, let's try and do that as well shall we i think inside the stations we should be able to find the checkpoint which i want to have on this side and then we have the dock on here as well and then we need to make an atmospheric suit and our little forge station at the top here i'll ask for another one to be made that's beautiful we got this one because it should be going up in these situations here but they're not being delivered because nobody wants to deliver them why, why is this let's let's hit one of those and then Ruben can do it and then we'll do it do it again for the second one and then we'll figure out how to get this up and running because of course we need to get some oxygen down here I don't, I don't I don't even know maybe we can jump a little bit off of this line here and bring that down but it's going to be a very very small amount just for this one this one dock so it, it should be all right it should be fine I mean, as it is, we've got a lot of oxygen up here. I might put a if oxygen pump. Um, let's move this not oxygen. So this is a wasteline that's, that's coming up from here. Uh, mostly in almost all of my bases, I will have a small pump down at the bottom of the base. And every time that this element sensor detects oxygen, it will then pass through a not gate and therefore turn on the pump when it's not surrounded by oxygen. Because almost always my waste gases are not oxygen. Uh, the important part there is that we breathe oxygen. I'm going to put this one down here like so and wonder who's scolding. Curie. It's not ideal, and also you found yourself in a bit of a weird situation here. Okay, let's get Curie out of here and see if we can't convince her that she wants to come over and do some of this stuff. Let's put a, a P9 down for these and see what happens. Maybe leave this tile. Definitely much more of the opinion that we need to get this up and running. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally set the not oxygen gate down here as well, uh, and then we should be able to get everything up and running beautifully. Where's a bit of wire? Thank you very much. These to connect down to here, and that connects into there, and that should be everything up and ready to go as soon as we get some power running. Okay, that's everything up and ready to go. Just got to make sure that Curie does this over almost anything else. Uh, construction 9, thank you very much. Where are you going? Oh, it's Plank. Okay, 
it's fair enough. One thing that you don't get in the playthroughs unlike mine that aren't quite in for the long haul are people will go along, they'll build a thing and then and then that's it. You never see it ever again. But in, in games that last as long as mine, we are very obviously going to be hitting a thousand cycles before we even go and see another asteroid. Uh, entropy starts to set in. Thing, things wear down, things get broken, other things turn up and make things bad for you. And you need to fight against that. Uh, thankfully, over here on reversing our first little area over here not too much is happening in that way we've got ourselves a minor volcano and this this here is a little bit of a problem this was our cooling unit but as you can see i've put up some orders so that hopefully when people are free this will get dealt with uh, we just need to drain the water out and down into our tank here so that could be that you know what i think we're gonna do this i think we're gonna do this right now if i hit all and go hey please this is really important guys uh we can come along and open this up now we've not got very many uh, big diggers here and indeed the first person who can do so is boar i think if i look at my skills and come up to the top uh not, not pyaxlin reverselin here uh boar sh cannot actually dig the abyssalite hubble cannot either though he can do some um gravel uh, not gravel granite and stuff like that and then rutherford is the person who's got all the big digs okay that's uh, interesting still waiting though still, uh, here comes rutherford beautiful i mean i really just want this door done if i'm to be honest is who's doing this no one at the moment because we cannot get through this tiny little gap okay we're gonna we're gonna have to wait for rutherford to do the little job that we have got for him here that shouldn't be the biggest problem in fact if we uh, go for a no oh no 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 he's gonna do what i want him to do anyway i was gonna lower the priority on these digs over here so that this door could get opened up now we've still got no one Submit bio scan. There we go. Hubble is on the way. I thought I'd already clicked that button. Maybe it resets when you reload the game. It, it could be a thing. I don't particularly know. Okay, here comes Hubble. The door is being opened and the water is flowing. Hopefully we can get through. Ooh, colony achievement earned. What, what, what achievement is this? Let's go and find out. I am not even sure. Discover a database entry by inspecting facility route. I, I was fairly sure we'd done that. Many times. Like, many times. I... I Almost refuse to believe. Okay, well, well, fair enough. Here we are. Oh no, Rutherford, please. Uh, let's hit red alert. I just, I just want these dug out. That's, it's not the end of the world, really. Well, I mean, it's kind of, but there's the end of the world on the side of the asteroid. But I just want this water to start flowing, and then I'll turn that off, and we'll let Rutherford do whatever it is he needs to do. Mostly go to sleep. This is bad, though. Uh, I suppose we can live with it. I'll put that like that, and someone will come along and dig it as and when they can. But hopefully, deflooding this anti-entropy thermo nullifier will enable this area to start cooling down. This will consume the hydrogen that we have been pumping up and into the area uh, to to lower the temperature. And one of the things that we need to watch out for is the temperature spiking up too high when this minor volcano, which is not uh, which is dormant for three, maybe four cycles, when it starts flowing again, there's going to be a lot of heat down here and these steam turbines are going to warm up okay coming back to pyaxlin we are definitely getting on with this build over here another build that i am uh, that i was going to destroy but actually ended up not was this little build over here let me get an automation wire and connect these two together we only need one of them this is going to then end up pumping pure oxygen into this gas pipe which i will like to then jump over let's grab this and run that up this will then be a nice clean source of oxygen for our atmospheric do uh, atmospheric suits over here Oh man, we are we are almost out of copper ore, which I kind of find hilarious. So what I've gone and done is set up a little dig over to this area. I have uh, asked for these digs here to be such a higher priority because we've got some sand. And when this water falls, you know what? I think we might even want to just open up down to this area here. So we've got somewhere for all that water to fall down to. Uh, hopefully that will work out well for us. Another good side effect of this is we're getting a bunch of obsidian. Obsidian is some of the materials with the highest melting point, 2000, uh, 2,700, uh, as opposed to most of the stones around here. Do we have any uh, access to any stone? Igneous rock, let's have a look at the melting point over here. We've got 1,400. That, that's less. That's nearly half. Wow. What about granite? That is 600. Okay, well, I mean, that was even more pronounced than I thought it was. Obsidian, 2,700. Pretty much the only stuff that's not going to get melted by the lava. I keep calling it lava. The game calls it magma. I don't, I don't know which, which term you guys prefer. I mean, let me know. Let me know. 
Okay, it's a bit of a messy pipeline, but basically I was getting a whole bunch of stuff through this pipe that I really didn't want to see. Uh, so, not, not, not that high a priority. Uh, so what I've got done is rerouted it all through a gas filter to make sure that we're not going to end up pumping a whole bunch of terrible, terrible gases into this area. I should also be able to just jump um, some steel wiring. Nah, I'm not sure about that, but we're going to run with it. We, we will uh, replace that with copper as and when we can, but hopefully with all this going into place, I should be able to select this gas filter breathable gas oxygen only throw the oxygen oh, unreachable build that's a little bit unfortunate but we can definitely fix that relatively simply you just gonna have to trust me that the oxygen is going to come out of here and uh, get pumped down into the dock suit uh, the suit dock down there talking of we're still not moving all of these things around this appears to have one for each one so this this third one down here must be for this dock let's uh, put that as an order and uh, oh look here we go Curie is going for the copper that's good oh she prefers to uh, put down the build orders I suppose I did put them as a nine so that makes sense oh and the pump is already working that is beautiful we've got this detecting oxygen as I say it goes through a knock gate if we do not have a good signal out it goes and starts pumping up all these terrible gases carbon dioxide will be flowing up and the carbon dioxide is actually going to get dumped into this area what do you mean starvation Curie no 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 I know she's here and I know she's got food I bet the problem is though if we have a look into her consumables I bet there's a problem where she can't eat gristleberry yeah bristleberry gristleberry let's give her some gristleberry and see how that works out. I don't think it's going to be the ideal food for her, but it might work out. I want to see her stress. High morale is still in focus. That's good. That is very good. We're still losing the stress that we had from Blagolia. Okay, that, that's that's good. Ooh, printing pod whilst we're here. What do we see? Digging, doctoring, doctoring, digging, ranching. I mean, all of these are pretty good. This one in particular would be good for Blagolia, but I'm just going to grab these swab charred hearts for now. And in fact, where do we need to put it? We've got 57,000 calories here. Uh, we've got 14,000 calories here. That's actually uh, surprisingly low in 41. Okay, we're going to get it at Blagolia, and I'm going to find out why we are so surprisingly low of food over here. I think it's because mostly we have shipped most of the food across uh, on the rocket. I, th I think that was the thing. Another thing that I can do over here on the consumables is because Curie was having a bit of a stress attack last time, I told everybody else, else on the Blagolia to stop eating the good food so that Curie can eat it. They're all eating fried mushrooms, but we've got Paku fillet and we've got cooked seafood. I want everybody to be able to eat the cooked seafood Ooh, and the barbecue. I don't know why that reset then. What, what happened there? There we go. Something like that should be fine. Back to Pyex, Lynn. Still, still got one, one space. I pointed this out at the end of last episode. I, I don't know if we're going to use it. I don't know if we're going to use it, but it is there for us. Wow, this carbon dioxide is filling this line up now which i mean it's okay it's okay and we do have the area where we're dumping it into over here with the slicks that are turning it into oil and then when that needs to uh, be backed up we've got these two carbon skimmers over here so it's fine we can deal with that much carbon dioxide i just didn't realize quite how much had built up down here Oh look, there's something inside the granite. There, There is raw granite inside my raw granite. I don't know how that's worked out. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but uh, that, that's interesting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel that because there's no way, no way my duplicates can reach into there to make that happen. Okay, we got some petrol. Uh, we got some oxygen being moved around here, but of course everything is blocked up for now. Let's have a look in here and make sure we've only got uh, some oxygen ready to go. It doesn't actually say it's got anything in there. That's good. That means all of the gas pipes are clear, and when it does eventually get this one bit built over here, Curie, Franklin, I mean people are looking like they want to get it done at some point, but at the same time, we've got a lot of um, shuffling of materials going on around. Oh look, here we go. We're starting to get this area nice and dug out and ready to go. I'm wondering whether we actually need to put a ladder coming down this way. I don't know whether this is going to be important or not, but this is going to fill up with water, and then we're going to have a bunch of the materials that I dropped. These are debris on the floor underneath the water, and I'd like to be able to go pick all that up, because oh, I like to be able to pick up my rubbish. <laughs> Okay, gas pipe is up and running. Purest of oxygen comes out of that filter. I, I love it. Another good thing about this gas pump not quite picking up the full, uh, full pipe's worth is that when this decides that it is indeed going to throw out some waste gases, there, there's room. They can, they can stop back up into each other and uh, provide some space. 
And the water flows. Here we go. Brilliant. Okay, so there's some gases trapped down here. I wonder if they're going to be able to make it past the water. Because look at this. I do know that gases can escape diagonally occasionally. So it shouldn't be the end of the world. We've got a little bit of sand on the floor there. And there we go. It's all bit, it's all pushed out. Okay, that's that's good. We've got two, two kilograms of carbon there. Um... 60 grams of oxygen okay this the fact that they're two different gases might make it a little bit awkward but as you can see the liquid can move out the way so that's actually also good all right this this is this is good this is very good got a little bit of a snot trail but that's fine oh it, it's escaping i wasn't i wasn't good enough uh okay we didn't provide enough uh space for the liquids to drop into here little bit of a shame i suppose i can just like open this up area up a little bit more um that that would be good if we could but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes uh, also, this atmosphere, uh, atmospheric suit has been put into its dock, so we're going to start working on this area again very shortly. Mm, gas flow could be faster for this oxygen. We are definitely having lots of uh, empty gaps in this atmospheric dock. It's uh, screaming for more, but I think we're okay. Yeah, there we go. It's open and everything is ready to go over this side. Is Kiri going to do the jump? She is indeed going to do the jump. We could probably do actually with having more atmospheric docks here, atmospheric suits here. Uh, I wonder if I could just kind of put a floor down and then come back and around and have a, a bigger area here. It'll be a little bit of a pathing problem, but uh, I, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Perhaps use these ladders here, bring this up and just make do with something like that. Yeah. Whilst we once again watch Curie go around and upgrade the infrastructure for our duplicates, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that helped me keep my infrastructure upgraded. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly donation up a monetary pledge to make sure that me and my channel can carry on swiftly into the future. Hopefully, like the duplicates, as comfortable as possible. And it's only with their help that I'm able to do what I do over here. So I am going to have to say, I don't have to say, but I really want to say thank you so much, guys. It, it really does mean the world to me. Okay, at the end of the second day, we have got a little bit of an access ladder going up and down here. But the thing I really want to do, the thing I really, really want to do is start adding some extra dock suits along here. The main reason being is you've noticed that people are coming along and tidying up this whole area down here, as I have asked them to do. Uh, and I would like that to also happen inside this area. As I pick up more and more stuff, I want to be able to like tell them to sweep. And I want people to be able to get inside and do the sweep. And that, of course, is not going to happen unless we get some more atmospheric soups down i did however hear this thing go off let's have a look at the blueprint salt water it's not really what i'm after supply build blah blah, blah. no none of these all right let's get some salt water i don't know exactly what i'm looking out for right now i think blagolia might need another oh hello what happened to you down here i might need another rancher at some point what is going on you know how i was saying about entropy kind of kicks in for these long games over here well that, that is definitely something that's going on in the background whilst we are working on other things things are just oh hey what's going on here we got some sand that's a uh, that's an interesting interesting uh, situation we found ourselves in i mean sand is good sand is very good because we need it for the uh, the the filtration mediums but i wasn't expecting to make it from the gold here i bet the polluted water to, uh, evaporated away steam had come down but the only thing that got left behind was a little bit of polluted dirt i bet there's some over this side i mean there's some slime here that sounds good enough and then the polluted dirt let's see if i can find some over here this is the stuff polluted dirt. If we uh, manage to warm it up, it turns into glass. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. That was not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting that we warmed up polluted dirt. It turned into sand. Maybe it was algae I was thinking of then. Yeah, there we go. Algae, you warm it up to 125, it turns into dirt. And you warm the dirt up to 300, it turns into sand. I wonder if that's also true for... What's the other thing that comes here? Slime. You warm it up into dirt. Yeah, once you get to dirt, you get to sand. Okay, that's a thing. What about... What about clay is that also you warm it up ah it gets to ceramic okay so dropping a bunch of clay around here would also work anyway we, we we've done the thing we needed to do over here let's get back to uh to pact 
uh, where we actually have had this area open up great. Uh, the other thing I want to do, put the ladder coming across here. I mean, I could just actually put insulated tiles all the way across, but I think I like the open area. If we need more than four dock suits, uh, more than four suit docks, something has gone wrong. Speaking of stuff going wrong, let's break this pipe open like that. Actually, let's let the let's let these gases go past first. But as soon as that does happen, I then want to break these pipes like this. I love the pliers mod. It is a mod. It does make the, the, the game just a little bit easier, but I think it's uh, it's totally worth it. And then put this the jump pipe here, this bridge, so that any of the, the gases coming out of here can jump over and get sorted. Beautiful. Okay, gas bridge is in place. Away the gases go. Beautiful, beautiful. Curie deciding that she needs to... Oh, we don't have a way across. All right, yeah, I can, I can see where the problem might be coming in here. Let's uh, get rid of those and go, hey, if we copy this but actually make it igneous rock, please, Curie, could you come along and do this? <laughs> is that is that going to work? All right, she's picked up the igneous rock. That's good. And now hopefully she can come along and, yeah, there we go. All right, let's have a look at the power situation here. Power does seem to be in need of upgrades. All right, that's something that we can do. Hmm, that is something we can do, but I don't think I'm that worried about it because we're not going to be running everything at once. Two, four, uh, 440, 560, and then all the, the suits. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there'll be a burnout. Maybe there won't be. If there is, I'll just upgrade all the uh, all the power lines. I think I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Right, we need three more iron suits. One, two, three. Let's just uh, hope that they get built pretty quickly. Wow, we've already had one get built. That's beautiful. So these guys are like super on it already. Let's have a look at who's doing the fabrication. Franklin, of course. She is our major operator. That's why she comes down here to produce the petroleum, which technically means it's her fault that we don't have enough power running, right? Is that is that right? Can we bl blame Franklin? It really spins me out. I think it's really weird that we can just completely uncover the oil wells. Everything else comes with this little bit of neutronium underneath, but the oil well, no, 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 you can just dig everything out around it. it yeah, it, it, it's weird. I don't, I don't, I've never liked that particular mechanic. I just feel like it doesn't follow their own precedents. Pre precedents? Precedents? <laughs> Yeah, you know, we're definitely going to need to upgrade this power line because I need to get this next gas pump also up and running so that we can start pumping out all the uh, all the gases from here. Is lead going to be fine? I mean, we'll use iron for this bit, but then from there onwards, I think lead will be absolutely perfect for this. I do like being on well-developed colonies. Look at these sparkle streakers going around. I love them. These guys and the guys with the speakers, is what it's, uh, the stickers, sorry, is what it's all about. Plank having the time of his life. I want to come through to my construction errands here and be like, look, you see you see all of these uh, power systems here. They, they really do need upgrading. Okay, we're having a harder time giving oxygen to this system than I thought we would. So what I'm going to do is start just building my way back towards the oxygen system. We're going to come up here. Gonna, I was going to go across there, but I've just noticed that that will actually run us into our debris pickup. And that, that's not the thing I want to do. So if we come up here, we can jump over with a... Uh, with a bridge and then we can do another jump here so if we split that that way uh and then be like gas bridge if oh no i pressed the wrong button oh. okay gas bridge down oh, well across and down and and down that was a weird bit of lag there and then that should be all of the clean oxygen coming through are we gonna be able to do it from this ladder i don't think we are though it'd be nice to just kind of dig across ah this this floor over here what, what are we going to put down as a floor tile i guess we're just going to have some regular granite okay it took a little bit of alarms we've managed to get this whole granite line in place nice and easily and away it goes this is going to be draining almost all of the power all of the oxygen sorry out of this system here i'm not sure what is holding it up are we max we keep getting gas uh, max gas pressure but we don't seem to be draining anywhere near as fast as i would have hoped how is this not ticking over Maybe I need to lower the pressure on both of these. Let's go uh, 1100, okay, there. And then on this one, we'll bring this down to 900 and see if that works better without these going over pressure. We've got to try and get the gases through to the pumps as quick as possible. And that might be the holdup, but I don't know. 
<laughs> we are almost definitely going to need more than just this singular pump here. Oh, let's have a look at where this actually runs. The natural gas will come up. Uh, it will then indeed go through the filter to take all the natural gas out of it. Beautiful. So all of the gases that are in this space here can be used and or moved. I'm not sure where the chlorine's going. In fact, I, I, I think I do know where the chlorine's going. Out to space, right? So we've got a small but potentially crippling issue here going on here with the power. And it's made, been made worse by my natural gas gen... Uh, natural gas geyser becoming dormant so uh, I'm gonna have to take a pretty extreme step and get Curie over here to start digging uh, making a, us a solar array over here I would like to replace this tile I mean is this the one with the uh, with the space behind it I do not know but we need to dig this out and allow ourselves to have a if I just do this and go to power and go for a heavy watt joint plate right there would be beautiful oh Kiri's kind of coming in a funny angle okay that that's cool I was hoping that she could go up and over here but I noticed we've got a little bit of rock that we need to take out okay beautiful okay it's taken the best part of 20 minutes but we've got our first solar panel in place I'd be very interested to see how much power it gives we are now in into the evening though if we have a look at the radiation overlay you can see we've got 218 rads coming from the sky that uh, turns out it equates to 132 watts ish so once we get all these in place that should help i need to do this one last so curie's got a way in and out i suppose i could put a door in underneath but uh, this this way seems a little bit easier i've got a feeling we're going to end up either putting a whole bunch of drywall up to make this part of our base or this will be incredibly temporary and then we'll actually end up building something much higher up i don't i don't know i don't know I mean, it's been kind of a good diversion why we pump out all of these gases. It, it wasn't... I felt like it was tearing me away from the thing that I needed to be doing, but, uh... I, I need to be pull, pulling all this out. I've also realised that these oil wells are going to be outgassing some uh, natural gas. So we're going to have to separate this off from the super hot stuff over here. Uh, I think that shouldn't be a problem. We'll probably just end up leaving these steel pumps here. Have a collection for oil down below. And then have this separate from the sealed area over here. And maybe make another way in over the top for the super hot stuff. Hey, what's this? wire overloading what oh oh I, I i see what's happened here okay <laughs> there has been some ungrade unupgraded wire on the line of course the big downside with all of these solar panels is i'm sacrificing rocket space and whilst two rockets is quite nice and it will get me to most places where i need to be extra rockets or indeed extra planetary launchers wouldn't go amiss i wonder if i can put some more over here Okay, it took uh, half an hour, but here we are. A whole power, a whole panel, sorry, of solar panels over here. A whole wing of them, if you will. Ooh, it did really take a lot longer than I expected. But the next thing we need to do is try and figure out how the water is getting into here. If I grab an insulated pipe and then drag these up across like this, and I think we'll probably bolt this one down. Ooh, that's a nice and interesting shape, but not the one that I was going for, like so. And then maybe have something like that. We need to send in water here for all of these oil wells. I also need to go around and put down some mesh tiles underneath these so that the, uh, the liquids can flow. And then this one hopefully will fill up and spill over this way making ourselves a nice little tank on this side i said ooh, didn't mean to do that wanted to cancel i say a little tank but as you can see it's going to be um i mean it's fairly hefty but not too hefty that this whole area will be able to fill up if need be or at least up until here we'll have some automation being like whoa 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 if it fills up to here turn all of these off i can automate them i believe yes okay awesome so where do we get water from well it's an absolute mess up here but that where i do know is some good clean water it comes from this pump over here down out down across and through the uh the, the toilets okay that's fine i think what i might do is where this bridge comes off let's grab ourselves a pipe that's the door I don't know why I tried to give me the door first uh, we're gonna drag this down we will bridge over and then of course come down and through here we might need to do some more finagling through here but oh no no I don't want to do that one thanks very much uh, we're definitely gonna have to do some different finagling with some bridges here but I want to take the water pipe out as, as soon as the new day loads and then I think we're just gonna go down here all right, that, that's the route we're going to go to get some water involved. Brilliant. 
Oh, and of course, with our power issues, we've not had any filtration medium sent over here, and um, the water is, is having a bit of a problem here. It can't leave. Okay, we might have to figure out something with that sooner rather than later. What I want to look at is up here. How is this? This is out of power. That's, that's no good. Hmm. I mean, that is exactly what we're working on over here, but I don't know if we can get our colonists up and running in that time. How do we make more sand? Of course, leaving algae in front of... Well, that's a dormant volcano. Uh, this is an idle volcano. We could just drop some algae down on top of here, or we can smash a whole bunch of stone. I think we might go with that one. This thimble reed doesn't look like it's going to be growing anymore. I don't didn't want to dig that up, but if we could get this dealt with. Uh, all of those, please. Thank you. All the prior priorities uh, zeros there we go let's let's just get that clear as soon as we can uh, and this one over here probably needs to leave as well uh, and then I want to look for in refinement we've got the rock crusher and that as soon as this bridge is uh, this uh, ladder is taken out that should be able to hit here it's not is it we need an extra space okay okay rock crusher let's just turn I mean I don't want to turn any of the ores I, I do however I don't know let's go for igneous rock it seems fairly abundant here let's just go i don't want to go forever because that's a bit much what do you what? plants okay i thought that was duplicates have died i was like what do you mean people have died but i, I misread it i was like whoa no okay but that that's fine that can be worked on that's these guys down here i really do want somebody to come along and make some sand though as, as soon as we make some sand here everything's all right all right that's a good delivery if we could do the actual thing though thank you okay a little bit of sand came out goddard has picked it up should we just quickly see what's in this nutrient bar oh go on uh digging rocket tree rocket... yeah yeah do... i will take those nutrient bars thank you very much and now if you could just go and go and put stuff in that water sieve i would be very happy very very happy indeed if that could be a thing go go goddard oh you are taking so long oh and then you dropped it okay there we go delivery of sand and everything should be up and running again oh that was that was kind of painful cycle 869 and i am realizing we are running out of time yes poetry but i suppose that is what happens when you are here pushing back the forces of entropy in an ever uncaring universe that is just trying to break everything you ever build or set up today we have managed to do a fair few things we have repaired our little uh, lava machine over here we've gone and put up a whole bunch of serious serious power systems over here mostly fixing the power issue that we had over here but setting up setting ourselves up for a much more renewable power system uh, down the bottom. Blagonia, of course, we managed to fix the toilets. So it, it's been a day of many, many fixings, but I'm afraid with that, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next time where we're actually going to get the petroleum boiler up and running. I know what I'm doing. I just need the time to get it done. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.